Welcome to TPK Roleplay, and welcome to the 18th episode of our Curse of Strahd campaign, Dark Echoes. This campaign, while based on the standard module from Wizards of the Coast, has been modified using additional content from a variety of sources. Dark Echoes will be a vivid exploration of classic gothic horror tropes and monsters of all kinds. It may be a brutal, stressful, and grim experience and is not for the faint of heart. Please know that those of us around the virtual table have given our consent to explore these topics together as respectfully as we can, but if you, the viewer, should feel uncomfortable at any point, please make sure to step away, get some air, stretch your legs, and check in on us again later. And with that, I am Luke Locke, and I will be your Dungeon Master players, starting with Sarah, if you'd like to go around and introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Osarix Franco. I play Irina Kolyana, the human uh, ranger. Pushing it on over to Cole. Hello, everyone. My name is Korabi. I play Colin Wilson, the human antiquarian. Next up is Ty. Hi, everyone. I am Tyron. I will be playing Charles Winchester, the half-elf druid. Over to Toby. Tony. But <laughs> we are we're the same person anymore. Uh hey Tony playing Toby, the lizard folk barbarian. And move it over to Turk. <laughs> Good morning. Uh I it's good to talk. Jeez. Anyway, uh hey everyone, I am Turk, your Turk extended. I will be playing the good doctor Rud Rudolf von Rixen. Uh, and he's here to kill monsters. Go back to Luca. All right. Uh, last episode. You did a little tour of the Reformation Center, Lake Zarevich Retreat tour. Uh, things took a turn and you had to get out of there in a hurry. And uh, someone stayed be behind to make sure you got out. Uh, safely you then returned to the inn the blue water inn snuck in through uh, the back kitchen entrance and upstairs and have now rested the night where you all wake to an eerily quiet morning the the atmosphere seems more still and heavy than previous days that you have been here. Yep. <laughs> Rip to my boy easy. <laughs> um Is there like even any commotion downstairs like at all? None that you can hear. Usually you would hear at least a few, you know, scuffing of chairs on wood as people sit down for breakfast. The inn does pretty good business. Uh, it's located kind of near the main gate as people come in and go to the main square. So you get a lot of uh, hunters and things like that and the occasional like regulars coming in. But you hear nothing this morning. Um, Toby will look over to Colin. Hmm. Are you are you up, Colin? Do I have to be? <clears throat> Not if you don't want to. Oh, if only it were that easy. Um can't really see around. I feel like I'm stuck on a table. 
What does the room look like? Thanks. I mean, <laughs> it's uh, it's oh. kind of big. Uh, even there you go. Even in comparison for me. Oh God. Um. Are you okay? Oh yeah, it probably just helps if you open your eyes. <clears throat> well, it doesn't seem like there's any way to get over to the others without leaving this room. But you're okay, right? I know. I didn't really sleep very well last night knowing about your friend. Yeah, you and me both. I I mean, in the end, I'll have to be fine, as always. Uh, does, outside of who Isaac was and uh, wanting to help him, I didn't really get any answers on why he, he was so interested with me. And so all of those answers probably went out with him. Sorry. Seems you... like uh, it's it's uh, something we'll have to get used to here. Do I what? Oh. I I don't I don't know if it's good to get used to something like that. But oh. <laughs> did you want to go get breakfast, or do you want me to bring you something? Oh, I don't know if we should go that far yet. And just as a good note, I feel like in life getting used to things is all you can do. If you don't get used to them, they'll do you in. So I would recommend we sneakly, as quiet as possible, sneak over to the others and have a conversation before we leave here. Um, uh, I'm not super great at sneaking, but <laughs> yeah, there's like the bad creaks to his weight getting up. Yeah, I, I feel like we're at a disadvantage no matter what. But it, I can knock on the wall and see if they're up. I mean, what's the wall made out of? <laughs> smack, smack, uh, stone. Is it stone? Are you sure? DM. Um, <laughs> yeah, DM, I'll like do like one claw against it. Is it just like break down a crack? Building is a mix of stone, wood, and thatch. This wall on the outside, uh, <clears throat> the out wall is stone. The interior dividing walls between the rooms are wood. Oh, whoops. Well, there's a big fucking so scratch in the wall. <laughs> tunnel <laughs> your way through rather than using the door if you no, so desire. It's, it's okay, Toby. Just turn that into your initials for fun. We probably shouldn't put a hole in the wall. <laughs> We'll just sneak over uh, the best we can because I'm afraid there there are most definitely people looking for us or at least looking for someone who uh, blew up a building. Um, well, what about, uh, what, what was his name? R Ricky? Oh, yeah, good old Crickety Ricky. I, I'm sure he'll find us, but... My concern right now is meeting up with Irina and Winchester, and and they should be in the next room. I mean, okay, and just like I'll do my best at tiptoeing, trying not to hear the crickety floorboards. Do Irina and Winchester want a moment before we barge in? Yeah. Meanwhile, room? Winchester, you were saying. Yeah. Meanwhile, Irina hears a. <laughs> on the wall next to her. <laughs> uh, she kind of, if Winchester's paying attention, he'll see that she does like a, and holds her breath for a second. <sighs> like, and just like no comment, but in that way where it's like already another day has begun and she's just not really wanting it to, you know? <clears throat> Did you sleep well? As well as anyone can. <clears throat> How are you feeling? 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sounds. I'm pretty sure that's what the my my left elbow was saying, uh, mm. and my knee was responding with a da kind of cry. It was all very unpleasant. You know, before coming here, I've never been as unsure of myself, my abilities, and my actions uh, as I am now. And uh, <sighs> genuinely, it's 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 a little hard. It's, I'm having a, a rough go of it today. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I was of the opinion that being kept locked up inside a mansion with my books was a, a death of some kind, but I'm afraid that was incredibly naive and incredibly privileged. <clears throat> yes, the grass is always rotten and decaying on the other side. <laughs> yeah, per particularly here in Barovia, no? Uh, uh, what but, uh, what do you if you had to guess <clears throat> or if you have an inclination of what you want to do what do you think we're going to do now I <laughs> our next steps I, yes I, I think we've uh, uh, made some enemies <laughs> Yes, well, I think if you breathe, you make enemies here, it seems. I hope to be... I had hoped that Barovia was different, that it could be different. But I'm afraid... Uh, we are a long ways out from that yet. As for what comes next, I... I will be honest with you, Inchester, I have but one ambition. And that is to kill Strahd. Where we go from here, what we do, so long as it moves me towards this end of killing the man who would keep me trapped here forever. It is my opinion that if we do this, then perhaps things here might actually be able to get better. <clears throat> yes. Well. There was there was reference in Madame Eva's readings of things that could help us. Perhaps we can talk with the others and determine. Right, but to to be frank. Madam Eva said that we would find a great ally and we found Rectavio so um, I don't know if her word should be trusted completely well I'll stop you right there we found Van Richten notorious monster hunter in all of Barovia I, books I'm, written of his exploits I've, I, I'm sorry don't tell I, him that, this. That, was, that was supposed to be a joke I am very tired <laughs> No, it's fine. Clearly, my sense of humor is a little bit rotten as well. Probably my uh, dreams interrupted by, I believe, Toby writing some sort of manifesto on the wall. Why he felt possessed to do such a thing, I... It was surely at Colin's bidding, but... I have, have read the Van Richten's adventures. Don't tell him that. I imagined myself to be a bit of a adventure myself many a days were spent pretending but we <sighs> shall have to take it one step at a time to be honest I don't think this is a straight road I think this is one that twists and turns and carries us through bog and mire we will have to earn this victory even if, even if it is fate that we should win, we will come out. We'll come out at the end, I, I think. Just not 
as we began. And she kind of looks at his eyes. What eyes? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, I imagine there's a brief pause and then a slight knock on the door as Colin and Toby come over. Uh, Good good morning. Really quick, what's Van Richten up to? Van Richten gets up very early, as is his habit. (sighs) Old man energy and whatnot. Uh, Popping on a hat of the sky, still head down, get himself something to drink, come back up to his room, begin pouring over his notes. And has been in his room uh, recording the past few days events, kind of aligning as best he can with what he knows uh, of uh, Strahd and his activities. And uh, just putting everything down, but, uh, you know, of course, keeping a little pendant uh, visible, glancing at it every once in a while, but then returning to his notes. Uh, if- when, as you went downstairs, uh, you would have noticed that there are none of the usual morning breakfast uh, patrons. And even the Martikovs could not be seen, though there was sounds of someone in the back kitchen. Uh, coffee would have just been left in a pot with some available mugs set out on the bar. That you could have grabbed and gone back up. Mm-hmm. I definitely take note of that, though. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Colin then, then... and Toby are knocking on Winchester's door, which I'm sure you would hear across the open uh, area there above the mm-hmm. main common. I'll begin. Room. I'll begin the process of uh, packing things up. Uh, come in, Toby. Make my way down this wood. I'm sorry, Colin. She said only me, not you. <laughs> All right. Can I come in too, please? <clears throat> of course you may come in, Colin. There's... It seems that we have <laughs> benefited from our rest a little bit of our mischief has snuck back into our bones, huh? Yeah, I almost made a joke about needing to invite certain people in, but that's probably too soon. I was about to make the same joke, and perhaps we shouldn't invite people in. Oh, no. (laughs) I mean, we can all do a vampire test on each other real quick if you want. What is this, a vampire test? Uh, Are there any mirrors here? Uh... Irina will cast bow. I'd also like to know if that's like a real thing. Uh, Undead are my favorite enemy. Can I like try to see <laughs> if I read a book about this being actually a thing? Um, it's the genre uh, awareness that Common has. Yeah, listen, it does seem to be a thing with okay. some of the lesser vampires. However, you're not sure that you ever noticed that being a thing with Alexander. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if she would share that necessarily. I think she'd like remember that. It would freak her out and it would be just sort of a like kind of like, yeah, let's check our let's yeah. check our reflections, you know. Um, but and instead to cover up her, her trepidation, she'll look over to Winchester and say, I promise, Winchester, that if you do have a reflection, I will not let them tease you about not having one for very long. I I imagine that's something you cannot ascertain with your new sight. Mm -hmm. Should we summon uh, Van Richten as well? Oh, I guess if we're... That was his name. Yeah, Crickety Rickety. Um... (laughs) We should, <clears throat> yeah, we should probably all have a conversation together and figure out next steps. And might I recommend that we do not antagonize our, our newfound ally? You know, I'm going to be honest, told. I feel like all of our new allies have been antagonizing me this whole time. Wait, so I'm not, I, uh, 
Yes, Toby. I didn't mean to be mean. I kind of forgot his name. Well, nicknames are a thing, right? Nicknames are a sign of camaraderie. Well, I mean, I guess my name's the nickname, but... It's true. I mean, he's going to push past the door and, like, look over to see if Van Richten's up. Uh, and if she, if he is actually on the railing, she'll kind of lean out and call over. Uh, we are planning our next intentions. If you would like to join us. I hope you have a moment. I'll bring coffee. Thank you. Hmm. I'll do that thing. Um, so there's not a boy on the walk. There is here. not actually a boy. Forget you ever saw him. <laughs> Uh-huh. He was a, ghost. Yeah, a flash of some ghostly spirit, but it's fine. <laughs> Just wave that off. I've got a ghostly spirit of a boy near me. Oh no. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Uh, yeah, I work my way around and, and bring support because there's no one else here. I'm gonna fuck him. Come in with a, with a tray. Set it down on the, one of the, one of the uh, crates here. As you walk in, Colin will just have a smirk on his face and hold back what he wants to say. Irina oh, will hello. give him like a... <laughs> hello, Van Richten. <clears throat> oh, well, come on, Sam, spit it out. I just hey, said hello. Yeah. What was all like mm. available for the breakfast for today? Coffee. Well, Toby <laughs> needs something more substantial than fucking coffee. <laughs> There are some very plain biscuits set out on a plate what is food? With, sure. with some butter. Three oh, please, please. I won't have you continuing to be a coward. Please speak what's your mind. Oh, I'm not listening to you anymore. What? <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm, I'm lost in my thoughts, to be honest. This is, this is a needless amount of, of hostility this early in the morning. I oh, slept on the wrong it. side of the bed, so... Sorry, I thought you just had something to say. And um, I did the plan to uh, surprise me with. I just... I just... Rather quickly, uh, just to get us started, uh, as it seems that things are escalating rather quickly, um, might I suggest that we actually do have an open session here and now for everyone to say what they need to say, and we can get it all out and in the open and then that way, when we're out in the wild, <laughs> where vampires wish to rip out our intestines and crazed leaders try to brainwash us with evil magics, we can rely on each other, huh? And we're not trying to be smart in those moments. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. This place sucks. Everything sucks. We need a plan. Thank you. Yes, say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Is, is that an old limerick of some kind? <laughs> Something my mother used to say to me. <laughs> Very good. Toby, do you have anything that you wish to, you know, put before the group in an attempt to remove any uh, deeply held hostilities, perhaps? It's just like mid-biscuit. Uh... I guess. Uh, All right. If I guess if like y'all didn't treat me worse, that'd be nice. You don't want us to treat you worse. Well, you kept letting each other or others do things you told me not to do. He told me to stay on the trail all the time, but when Irina went off to those weird stones, he didn't stop her or say anything. Or with the hag in their wagon. He let Irina buy stuff, he didn't let me. This is a valid criticism, Toby. We will do our best to be more respectful, yes, of everyone. <clears throat> yes. Agreed. Irina pointedly looks at Van Richten. The character of Victavio 
was meant as a disguise so that I might be irritating but forgettable. I understand it might have rubbed some of you the wrong way initially and you're holding some deep seated resentments. I assure you I am not Rictavio. I kind of like Rictavio. Do you say you liked Rictavio? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure I heard you correctly. Well, if we're airing out dirty laundry, I do kind of feel like you stole my look and you know, I looked this way first here and then you came in your true, I'm just kidding. I can't keep it up. I'm just trying to use comedy to delay the inevitable. Glad to have you. Your expertise is uh, much appreciated. Danke. <clears throat> I would appreciate it if everyone started to laugh more at my blindness jokes. I, I don't think I it's a I can't see that happening anytime you. soon. That's funny. Thank you. It is an uh, attempt to bring levity to my situation, and I would appreciate it if you all joined in. It kind of makes me uncomfortable to talk about it. Oh, okay. That's fine. All right, Winchester. Uh, well, let's start from the top. Van Richten, thank you for explaining your car caricature. And I expect that we can see a marked difference in your interactions with us all. Uh, so we might better come to trust you, yes? A shrug just see, fills I, me with I don't so see, much I don't confidence. see what I've done that I would be untrustworthy, but... I've been nothing but perfectly clear with you all. All right. Well, that will have to do for now. Uh, and uh, uh, Colin, you're fine. Winchester, uh, your your eyesight jokes, I must let you know, are appreciated. Uh, as you as you said uh, earlier, you will see what you need to see or won't. But either way, we'll make sure that you're able. Uh, that was an attempt. It, it didn't. It didn't land. I'm so sorry, Winchester. No, You're much all, better at it fine. than I am. That is fine. You are trying, and that is all that matters. Yes. Uh, I, I for my part have a few things uh, I would just like to say, and then we should start to plan. I am very grateful, my friends. The last. The journey here has been. Dramatic to say the least. But to sit here with you all in this moment, attempting to make jokes, I feel nothing but gratitude to each and every one of you. And I am hopeful that we will be able to continue our journey together. Second, I believe our journey, my journey, will end in killing Strahd. I will be very clear about this. I have no intention of anything else I trust you each and every one of you and I hope that you can help me in this but that's what I'm here to do as well so I mean I don't really know why I'm here but that seems as good of a reason as any for the moment it's a misclaimed you it happens well, I wish, wish it would return me, to be honest. One way to do Toby. that. Toby and Winchester, or is this acceptable to you? Yeah. All right. I just, well, I just want to get us home. I believe that that is something that we can arrange. Now. Once Continue, Rick, then. Once Strahd is dead, this mist surrounding Barovia and the curse in and of itself will end. He has to be truly dead, so. He is the reason the land is enshrouded in as much this bullshit as it is, a result of his dark compacts. Take out Strahd, you can all go home, one way or another. Barovia stops being a locked off part of this land. Hmm. And what do you all plan for after killing Strahd? Or is or is it too soon to talk such grand plans? 
I mean, go back home with Winchester and then go back to my home home. I think it is a little too early to, um, to tell. Well, who knows? Who knows who we will be when we leave this place? Well, hopefully, after killing Strahd, you'll see things a little more clearly. That was good. That was a good one. I appreciated that very much. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, our ambitions are to kill Strahd and go home. I believe that this is acceptable. Uh, as for our immediate situation, there is some sort of festival. Yes, Lady Walker has graciously notified us of that happenings will be occurring. I'm, I'm not too sure uh, we'll be welcomed guests. Uh, yeah, I, I was looking forward to a whole carnival that I could go to, uh, but I don't think it's a good idea for me to go. If it's run by the Baron, then there might be two situations. One, it's hostile to us as Toby's prescribes. They'll be looking for scapegoats and they'll try Especially to make Especially me, because I think Isaac was the only reason people weren't super freaking out. Yeah, so before we know it, we might be doing a jig five feet up in the air. Uh, the other thing we need to consider is that the Baron is so caught up in his everything is okay plans that they won't even make a thing of it. To publicly accuse us is to admit wrongdoing. It's a small chance, but it is an alternative. I believe that if we do not make an appearance, they will hunt us. Then they might believe that we've been obliterated, but I, they were the laws here are very clear that if we do not attend the festival, that we are an enemy of the city itself. So if we do not attend, we should make haste from here. However, Lady Walker has notified us that she knows that we are here. And should she decide that we become enemies, who knows what could happen? Should should I just stay here and you all go? No, Toby, I... this is unacceptable. Well, there there is a case to be made about blending in of some sort um did anyone see a certain area where those cloaked figures came out of a lot maybe we can acquire one of their outfits and uh pose as some of lady walker's people i don't know if we just go to lady walker's home and she we could gladly tell her we're on her side she'll oh. give us the outfits that was honestly my my second suggestion if if we are to go to the festival and if we are using lady walker as hopefully our cover maybe we just go to her house first um i i still worry that she may use toby as a pawn so i'm i'm not sure if, obviously not going to leave him behind but we should have a plan just in case um what is two questions really quickly what is toby wearing like what's his his outfit uh a neck like a necklace of like um like feather and bone and teeth and mm -hmm. then like um it's more than just like a loincloth it's mm -hmm. but like not shorts necessarily it's like a like a belt and cloth to like hold um like uh, I don't know, like sheaths and shit on. Other than that, it's nothing. Okay. Um, and Old then this is a question. Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. Pretty, this pretty is... much. Yeah, he's no shirt, no shoes, all service. Uh, this is a question for the the GM. Um, we've got two beds in here. Like I'm assuming, what are there? What are the ornaments for the bed? Like, what's the what are the linens look like? We got like a basic. Air Yep. Hey. You got okay. like a wool blanket over some very basic cloth sheets. Okay. Um she's gonna 
listen, if it is a matter of, of a disguise or a cloak, perhaps we can fashion something from the items here quickly. So I, I don't hard. think that's going to be enough. I'm a little tall and the tail's a little... You can borrow my hat. What's a hat going to do? You can make uh, you appear as you want. It is magic. It's a magic hat. It's why it's how I became so Toby. Fabulous. Toby, please, at least try it. Quick, just just try it, Toby. Uh Okay. I will offer him the I guess <laughs> it's not it's not like the hat kind of changes as part of the illusion as well, so it's kind of it's just like a dingy looking hat. I was gonna say, it's does it look like Rictavio. an Indiana Jones hat? Just go. Mm, it's not like a Rictavio's fabulous hat, but you know, it is uh, a hat. Kind of hands it over. Just pop it on your head and project what you want to look like. This is my hat of disguise. <laughs> uh, so I have to think about what to look like. Does anyone have a mirror? He might be assisted with some. Yeah. Oh, hold on, I'll look for one. Irina will giggle uh, and also try to find one. But actually, it wasn't a joke. I can, I can still search for mirrors. Yes. <laughs> well, how could you tell the Irina difference between doesn't... a mirror and a dartboard? Let I'm this... actually kind of magically curious. I think he can feel them. For the sake of expediency, can there be like a little vanity situation? <laughs> Thank <Yes>. you. <laughs> There's a very, very dull mirror above the wash basin in this room. Yeah, Irina kind of scrubs it to try to help make it a little less dingy. And Toby oh put on the hat and just oh think god. for a hot second. Oh god, what's happening? <laughs> don't know, but I'm excited. Oh, this isn't going I hear well a lot of struggling with zippers. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Everything's fine. It's all right, Toby. Just what you can be whatever you want to be. You could Just, look like, you know, uh, you, uh, anyone. Yes. God, God damn it. It's this creature. Oh my god, it's not working. <laughs> Who is this creature we see before us? This could not possibly be Toby. Mein Gott. <laughs> I, oh, it, that is the strangest hat I have ever seen. What is that? Oh, is I made some this sort of. Like... I made a party hat for the festival when I heard about it, so I thought it'd be good to wear on. A party hat? That look, is this uh, some kind of family tradition? Some small group situation? No, when I used to go to towns, I'd see kids wearing them to like do their thing that I could never be a part of, obviously. So I thought it'd be nice to be able to have one since I could go to a party. This is this is wonderful, Toby, and you look very nice. Uh, I think that this should be an acceptable disguise. Thank you, uh, Dominicton. <laughs> Luca is just trying not to murder me. <laughs> now, for the rest of us, it might do for you all to go about with your your hoods. You know, like that one time we were being very stealthy. I was not. Understood. Um. Yep. Colin, you suspect that we should make for Lady Walker's home? I mean, if we're gonna make an attempt to go to the festival, checking in there, I guess, is as good as any. And if we can grab some of those fancy cloaks that her people use, um, we'll, we'll kind of just fit in more. We will inadvertently be throwing ourselves in with her cause. No, so I'm saying it's a problem. I just want to make this very clear to everyone. She yeah. did expect us to deliver. I mean, I'd rather just leave the city entirely, but 
But I you know what that means. Hmm. What does it mean? I... I'll point to Irina because Irina's probably. We, it is possible that if we leave the city now and Wachter is not successful in her attempts, that we will no longer be able to return here. We will be truly fugitives in an, a land that already is, you know, uh, Barovia bent on murdering us. Oh, you haven't got dark enough, my Fraulein. Anyone we interacted with will likely be vigorously interrogated. And or killed outright. That puts the Vistani and the uh, the, the Martikovs at risk. Something I'd rather not do, personally. Might I, make a, might I make a suggestion? We have disguised Toby, which feels like step one. We will go out to the festival, as Lady Walker here has encouraged us to be ready. And then we will leave here. There are several places that I think that we should try to go to, uh, both from Madame Eva's reading and from the various, you know, writings that we have found. It's one of them makes mention of a, a weapon. I would, I would very much like to retrieve this. You must tell me more of this reading at some point. We might be able to compare notes. I, I mean, very quickly, I can tell you some that we know. Yes. And friends, if you would like to uh, chime in and, and assist me in knowing. Uh, one of the things we need to find is a treasure that lies in a, a dragon's house. There's mm -hmm. also uh, something uh, hidden behind the sun in the house of a saint, uh, a holy symbol. Hey, uh, Irina. I could, I could be wrong, but I, I hate to tell you that certain vampires are often referred to as dragons. So the dragon's house, based on my knowledge, sounds like Strahd's house to me, but hopefully Quit. not. Fingers crossed not. Could I make a history Actually, check for dragons I'm, in Barovia? I yeah. would like to have Winchester um, and... Irina, do a history check, please. Because so there was those knights that we saw. 19 for me. Okay. And Irina? Five. <laughs> Can't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you currently have in your possession, though? If you were to Look through what you have in your bag, Arena. <laughs> hey, Arena! <laughs> yeah, Could yeah, you just, yeah, yeah. Uh, check some things you have on you? I'm checking. <laughs> I'm checking. Are you talking? I've got. Oh, uh, but shit. meanwhile, when. Right? The travel journals, yes. Yes, yes, um, yes. That's. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, also, Winchester, you would definitely recognize. Uh, something familiar as they were mentioning dragons and how you had seen a white dragon displayed on the shield of a revenant walking through oh, the forest. That, that's funny, I saw that. Yes, uh -huh. because it was embossed. It was, it was we a went over this inlay yes. on the shield. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so re recalling this, um, Irene is going to kind of shake her head because she had the journals. Uh, GM, would you mind re-showing those? I am can yes! sort through my notes, but it will take 1,000 years to find. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Irene will shake her head and say, no, that is not... I don't believe that is right. I think it's, it's something else. A another group, perhaps. There's... Uh, the journals that I found made reference to an Order of the Silver Dragon was written yeah. under. 
to a, a, a hold the Order of the Silver Dragon or of some sort. Uh, oh. And then Argon's boss. Boss hold? Argon's Argen boss, boss holds. holds. Yeah, Bless you. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, anyways, the, it, there's a fortress of some kind. And again, there is a, a, a temple. I remember, I don't believe it is the one here. Uh, as the one relic that seemed to be <laughs> important we've already recovered but perhaps we could find reference to another another house of a saint somewhere in the land I know of mention of a temple of powers that's been corrupted by struts but that might not be precisely what I recall I'd have to go over my notes very quickly. Uh, GM. Yes. Oh. That is the uh, the journal that made mention of the mm -hmm. temple to you, Arena. Yes. Uh, do I recall? Sorry, I'm just trying to find my notes with uh, Casimir. Um, the Amber yes. Temple he mentioned. Yes, he did mention that he wanted to go there and would love... He did mention he wanted to go there, but did he mention any symbology relating to it? He just called I know. it the Amber Temple. <sighs> and so mentioned that he had attempted to get there before, um, but was unsuccessful. Hmm. Well, Silver Dragon definitely sounds much less menacing. Amber gets a little more uh, in the realm of of things mm. I've read about, but could just the, be fantasy. There was the chunk of amber that we found in the death house that you said had a very um, menacing aura to it. Perhaps that is the same. If we are to go there, we might have assistance from the dusk elves. It's worth noting. Uh, however, it is also an area where Strahd supposedly gained his power, which doesn't line up with my own notes, but still, it could be a reinforcing point. Be very dangerous or well guarded. Um, there is one other card in our uh, reading. We have, there was the Avenger, which uh, was, I believe, I'm sorry. I'm trying to reread my notes here. Um, a treasure lies in the dragon's house. That was the Avenger. Then there was the monk, who a treasure uh, we seek is behind the hidden sun in the house of the saint. There was also the conjurer for a weapon of vengeance. Uh, in a drowned, a dead village drowned by a river, ruled by one who brought great evil to this land. There is a, they made mention of a sort of sunlight. I believe if, if we want to understand more of Strahd, we head to the fortress for a holy symbol, the house of a saint, and for the weapon, we find this drowned village. Arena, I will let you roll another history check if you would like as you continue to go through I would, the cards. I would love to, please. I mean... Come on, baby. You gotta what the fuck? Me. Can, can I... I just, can't do, I can't remember shit. I have notes, Luca. I'm doing my best. Can my yeah, notes give me advantage? advantage. <laughs> yes, please. For the love of God. You literally have the papers on your person. So uh, as this happens, you you are going over this card uh, and mention of a dead village on a river. And you remember in the travel journal, there was a depiction right. of a, uh, a village on the Luna River. No. That you had never heard of. There is. I believe that this village could potentially be this here. There was mention of it in the journal. I'd never heard of it before, but that kind of makes sense in a strange way. Does so if it's if it's drowned, is it underwater or is that more metaphorical? I I couldn't say for certain, though I, being by a river to me seems leads me to believe it is more 
I mean, Barovia seems to be a little bit on the nose. They like to, you know, really play up tropes. So it's possible that this is actually... Is that... That's a thing that Colin says, right? Play up the tropes? I'm just trying to. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, um, just thinking about who we've met and what I've heard. I, I mean, I don't necessarily think she's related to any of these but uh, the young girl we saved definitely has something there that maybe will come back around later um and i have a plus 11 to history thank can god I, can, <laughs> I, can i just think about what i've witnessed and the people we've met and and see what kind of directional clue that I might ascertain from that. Right. Watch. While while he's rolling it, I would know about Perez, right? Like I've got You would the you board. would know uh yeah, it's it's uh lots of uh rumors. However, yeah. uh you have been you have snuck around uh and discovered things and have read about personal accounts of things that have uh, happened in Berez. Mm -hmm. All right, I was just trying to answer before we had to rely on a, a role, but yeah. It was like, it's Berez. The drowned, the drowned city is Berez. It was diverted a river into it. Uh, what was your role again, Colin? 28. Okay, so Colin, uh, looking over these cards... The information you have heard from uh, people around you as you're traveling, looking through Arena's travel journal, all of the uh, little bits and things that you have found through your travels, directionally, you know that you have probably, with current knowledge, three or four main direction options. Uh, one would be the to the west, to Kresk, the town of Kresk, where there is said to be a holy man of sorts, um, a, a saint, even if we're talking, you know, relating to those cards. There's also that dead village, you believe, is what that is, kind of to the south, southwest, along the Luna River. There is the temple to the south, uh, up high in the mountains. And then there is also uh, the house of the dragon Argenvostolt, uh, which is also kind of south. Um, kind of uh, below you. Well, so as I'm listening to everyone talking and looking over and hearing this, I just uh, take a piece of paper out of my little journal and I write down kind of like um, just a block of text that has the names and an arrow pointing to what direction they are. And I rip that out and uh, hand it to Irina. So it says like, to the west is Kresk, to the dead villages south, southwest, Lunar River, all of that. Uh, temple, the temple is to the south. Argon sneeze is kind of kind of south. Uh, you also would know of the Wizard of Wines to the southwest as well. More more west southwest. Uh, yep, and they they just have like arrows connecting which direction we need to head for them on the little gra a little piece of paper. Remind me, the Wizard of Wines, that was, it was the, it's is that run by? The Martikov family, yes. The Martikovs, that's right. Okay, thank you. Um, by Martikovs. Uh, all we, right. Do we have a reason to go down there? <laughs> yes, they said that uh, they, they could be of assistance. Um, when I revealed to the Martikovs, um, my intentions, they made mention that this could be a place where we might find allies. And I mean, quite frankly, I don't suspect that we shall be returning to Velaki between these. It would be nice to have a moment of respite. 
between these because it it seems very clear here i i do not know which of these landmarks is closest but if we begin our journey i would i would hope to get knowledge of strad first uh starting with the fortress perhaps but i am open to suggestions if we can understand the enemy, perhaps as we go to gather the other artifacts and, and items, we can hone our skills in, in the same direction. Well, knowledge is power. Uh, DM, quick, quick question. Uh, do I have a map, a more complete map of Barovia that I could help, hopefully, like, reference yes, a little bit? Yes, you do. <laughs> Let me, uh... in, in your DMs. <laughs> uh let's see here you're welcome for me drawing that real quick just now uh-huh I, I, I yeah, also... well, it, there's no castle raven poop so i don't i think this is you um real quick while they're looking over the map um out of people that we've met i feel like everyone's kind of um had their conversations with a certain person. Um, never mind. Never mind. Okay. What? Oh, just think. Just thinking out loud. I, I, I think we're, we're uh, spending a lot of time here though, and I think we're burning the daylight we have. I, you, you are right, Colin. We should be decisive. Uh, looking at the map. So perhaps it would be best to head due west to Kresk and then and then south instead of having to are double we, back. Are we leaving the town then? I think Next. after after today's events, unless uh, Van Richten. No, after the work is done here, we move on. If they try to stop us, we could simply leave. I don't know, maybe I can flex my celebrity this bit. All right. Uh, there was also uh, on the night that Alexander died. Um, I was running through the woods uh, to the south of uh, where I found you, Irina. And then I came across a, um, a undead entity, uh, a revenant. Um, it was um, adorned with the the symbol of a, of a dragon. Um, so where it was heading and if you know anything about Revenants, uh, their pacts for eternity to hunt their prey and to avenge whatever wrong has been done to them. Um, something bad probably happened at this uh, Argenvost Holt. Uh, but there is power in those bonds. Very well. I... You, are, you are thinking we might be able to leverage an undead hatred of some hopefully local lords to our advantage? Well, I don't, I don't know what the oaths are, but perhaps. It's kept them animated beyond life. It's worth looking into at some point. All right. Or, so... To Colin's point, we should we should be getting going, um, and I imagine that the festivities have begun without us. We wouldn't want Toby to miss his first festival, given that he's arranged for a party hat and all. Uh, so we we determine what is happening here in the city to make sure that we secure that we are able to return here if needed. That is our first goal. Then we make. Our, our path uh, to either 
the fortress, press the res, or I mean, at the Amber Temple sounds dangerous. I do not believe we are able to face whatever is there. So I would suggest we try one of the places from our reading. Uh, is there any preference where we start amongst the party? <sighs> Dead village sounds kind of cool, but uh, you know me. Perhaps the other town? Res? I That has my vote. It is due west, and we can make our way south to the other location. It is also the furthest away from the castle. <laughs> Toby, any preference? Toby just like cough because he's been eating biscuits this whole time. <laughs> oh, Toby, drink, drink some, drink some water, please. They're dry. I'm just. <sighs> I haven't been really paying attention. It's doing the salty challenge over here. Just... Oh no! <laughs> Dude, they're like the Popeyes biscuits. They're just drier than a fucking <laughs> anything. Uh. Then Nixon. I defer to the group. I am here because fate demands it. Then it seems that Kresk is our next heading. Jawohl. Very good. All right. Back my shoes. Toby, uh, congratulations. We are about to attend a festival, though I will note. I suspect that the time we spent with the Velaki will be much more preferred. Uh, we shall head out, seeking Lady Walker. And again, I believe our ambition here should be that we secure Velaki as a safe, safer place of retreat. We want to ensure that we are able to come back here. Yes? Take Excellent. a mug of coffee. Yes. They're here. Uh, Irina will then turn and begin like gathering up her belongings uh, to get be able to like we're gonna go to the festival, but have all of her all of her travel items on her person. So if we need to bail, we DM, can. DM, just... I'm I have all of my stuff. I have all Make, of my we're stuff. We're making a bug out bag. Okay, we have a bug out bag ready. Okay, uh, as you guys descend down the stairs into the common room. You will see Erwin actually come out uh, holding some wrapped food packages. Uh, and he will look at you and say, you will want to be making your way to the festival. Attendance is required. And there is an eerie bite to the air today. I believe all of the commotion <clears throat> from your activities last night have added a level of tension to today's festivities. You can and bite the air? Now, friend, if I could make a suggestion. Have your family be prepared to get to cover, wherever that may be for you. Of course. Wait, what did we do last night? I was just reading. Denial in front of friends only leads to mistrust. I... I didn't... What? It is okay. Uh, however, I will have you know that official word is that Isaac is on business hunting a werewolf pack and will return later for the main portion of the festival. Oh, Access to the retreat is completely blocked off. Bevel's pack, I'd say, of course. didn't invite me. I should be ashamed. Oh, we have to have words as a parent about it. Mm. Uh, he will kind of, like, adjust everything he's holding. I am about to head that way. We have a little cart where we will be selling some goods for the festival. Uh, but I would expect you would want to hurry. Eventually, guards will come around and make sure that everyone is att in attendance. Perhaps we could accompany you? Of course. Are we all ready to leave, friend? Oh, yeah, we just had that one errand we were gonna stop mm -hmm. off for before attending, but you know. Mm -hmm. Then let us attend to that. Uh, we will be there shortly. Thank you for, for letting us know. Yes. 
uh, and he will nod to you. And as you head out on the streets towards Lady Walker's house, I'm actually going to suggest we take a quick break before you uh, arrive there. I suggest we don't. What Ooh. now? Mm, uh, power move. I, I get majority <laughs> vote. Just kidding. A break the sounds wonderful. DM vote counts as <laughs> six. So. Okay. so when it count as three, there's only the... Well, there's five of you. I listen. I'm just playing it safe so that I can always outvote you. <laughs> <laughs> always, always play it safe. Arm She's L- Luca is gerrymandering right now. You, you've you may have heard of it. Mm. Listen, uh, Barovia. Uh, equal representation does not seem like something that happens uh, here. Well, <laughs> one of the uh, someone someone out here literally saying I am the land. That is objection. the epitome of gerrymandering. Uh, you get your lawyer stuff out of here. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> He's a everyone take five and we'll be right back. Uh, we are back. <laughs> this is not the tone I was hoping for. <laughs> What do you mean? We're just yeah. Sorry, wait. Things. Remember, quick. Everyone, think of scary puppies. Well, um, we're all scary. tired wait, today. You know, yeah. it's, it's very, very true. Today is a day. Today, today is, is a day. day. Uh, story yeah, I wanted for to, the spooky uh, season. I wanted to iterate that because of the disguise self, Toby is not looking like his usual seven foot tall, fucking heavy as shit self. He's just like a very tall human person. Human I refuse people. to edit. The token no, that's to have fine. a little party hat. <laughs> what? You you did it the one time. You gave that everybody a party hat. Yeah. What, and? This is different. We're serious here. We're okay. serious fine. here. Uh, but yeah, I will, can't you tell I how serious we are? That, uh, Toby tried to make himself a little bit shorter, but he just smashed his face a few times on door frames. Because <gasps> the vision's a little bit lower. He's like, oh, I don't have to do this anymore. Bam! I am very dumb. Uh, I had my hair elastic on my right wrist, and I was like, "Why does this hurt so bad?" I just got the fucking tattoo there. To to, to oh, bring Luca. it. <laughs> oh, Luca! <laughs> Man, what the hell? It, it back to to, okay. to moody and sad. But, uh, what is, as what is yeah, uh, We're very serious, and I have a party. <laughs> yes. <laughs> question. Well, question. Question for the DM. Yes. Um, I see Toby, right? No. No. Like, illusions don't affect me. It's blind sight, not Which true you couldn't sight. See, you, could, you couldn't see Strahd. Yeah, mm, it's blind fair. sight, not true sight. But you could so, de- very easily trip yeah. over my goddamn tail and step on it, and I'm going to be So pissed. I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know necessarily that it's a different person, but the fact <clears throat> that its footfalls are so heavy to me, because I can sense that, like... Well, and you, I'm sure he still smells like Toby, you know, if we're leaning into the trope of, oh, you're blind now, and so all your other senses are, you know, becoming more relied on. I, I am Daredevil, yes. Daredevil well, confirmed. I was thinking Mr. Magoo, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyways. Cole, Cole was asking something as well. Yes, Cole, can you can you ask us your spooky uh, question? <clears throat> I feel like it's uh well it'll bring us back in. What is the mortality rate in Barovia? High. <laughs> Very Which, fucking just, high. A hundred percent. Too damn high. Three fourths of the city just got like eat. Is it eat or eaten or eat? Et. They got it. You're okay. dead, and you're debating grammar. <laughs> yes, uh, we are very serious. <clears throat> Screams as we said in the early. English lit major. <laughs> this is this is the proper tone for uh, the festival. <clears throat> I mean, okay. so is it? Is are, are the streets like lined like with uh, the streets? Those, those little flags and lines the and everything. Fire. Chester's he's cast, casting, casting magics he's, over there. He's oh doing my some rituals, okay? <laughs> he's it a just glowed pyro. so brightly that I thought he had lit off like one of those little glowy firework things. <laughs> Never, n- don't mind, don't mind the druid. He's just, you know, protecting from good and evil right now. It's fine. <laughs> don't eat mong tong. Listen, you go fui fui wai bi tao. Uh, fucking... All right, adventures up in here. So, so for our safety, I feel like 
we're taking the the most back road out of sight ways possible yeah, heading to lady walkers the streets are actually quite uh abandoned feeling the few people you do see seem to be like shutting their doors behind them and running off hurriedly towards the center of town we might not have the time we want to go to the walk jazz is this what festivals are supposed to be like? I thought it'd be rowdy. Are there just people like hiding in their homes? No, oh, Winchester, yeah. they're running to the festival and we're not in the festival, Toby. They're heading towards it. If we all act like we're rushing and we're heading in this direction, we should be fine to grab some disguises and just rush to the festival as well. Perhaps, I owe me to prepare you for when the gods start shouting. Uh, as you arrive at walk their house uh, and walk up, uh, again, everything has that extra silent air about it. And you can knock on the door and a, a maid will peek out. But yes? Uh, hello, uh, we are colleagues of Lady Walkers. Uh, we were, we came here. We are hopeful to find um, perhaps some, some robes or cloaks uh, for the festival. Oh, uh, they some... have all gone off to the festival. Um, everything's prepared. Th there was nothing left uh, for us uh, to perhaps help us blend in to her uh her her club uh, not that i was told of ma'am understood thank you uh, and what was your name emily fuck thank you why is it thank the only name i can think of <laughs> thank you emily i i appreciate it i'm sorry cole <laughs> <laughs> every woman in barovia is named emily <laughs> or some variation of it but hold on a moment. I thought you were still asleep. When did you wake up? Are you talking to Emily? <laughs> Emily 2? <laughs> Amazing. Um, this is Emily 7. Th this is Emily 7? <laughs> okay. Easily confused uh, Emily two. I need, a, Irina, I need to pull up my list of names. <laughs> Irina will thank the maid uh, and look at Colin and shrug and say, we did our best, but perhaps we should just be going now. Worth a shot. Uh, I assume that means Lady Walker's left as well. Yes, um, it seems that everything is already in place. Great, grand, wonderful. Certainly, those are the adjectives I would choose. <laughs> I'm glad you have a hood. Well, let's get going, huh? Yeah. As, uh, as we get closer, if we feel the need, I could bless the party right. or... I got my names here. Ask away, <laughs> Sarah. She just points at a random youth on this street. <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> my name is Eliana! That kind of sounds like Emily. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate no. you! A lot of a lot of E-related names. In okay, Milwaukee. Hilda, Dadonna. Well, that's not a fucking name. What is this name? Dadonna? That's what the a, fuck is Dadonna? That's it's a sound. <laughs> The dawn of the sound. These are all like on amount of heels. Uh, we go. We go to the festival now. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you guys. I'm just gonna take a moment. <laughs> yes. This is a very serious. This campaign. is a very serious evil. campaign. Evil. I don't know what uh, the hell I'm awesome. doing running it. <laughs> uh, what's what's okay. going on? I can't see. I can't see what's going on. Uh, I, what you're stepping on my tail. I, I also out. cannot see. I also cannot see. This hood is a. Uh, Rather large. <laughs> I'll be your seeing eye, German. Left. <laughs> You're gonna have to walk in front of me because I can't have you walking on me. Yes, uh, both of you. Come on. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna. I am going to get rid of all the jokes from break. Mm. I do not claim this silly energy. Still waiting on that party hat. You this is because it. you didn't. This is because you didn't give him a party hat. It's true. This is my curse. 
You got Sim Sim Salabimmed. As you walk closer to the city square, under threatening skies, a parade of unhappy children dressed as flowers trudge through the muddy streets, leading the way for a group of sorry looking men and women carrying a 10 foot in diameter large wicker ball made to look vaguely like a sun. The Burgomaster and his smiling, simpering wife holds a sad bouquet of wilting flowers, sit, uh, follow the profession, uh, procession on horseback. There, it is hoisted and hung from a 15-foot-high wooden scaffold on what appears to be a rather recently built stage. Townsfolk take turns splashing it with oil, and before the wicker sun can be set ablaze, the sky tears open in a sudden downpour. All will be well, cries the Burgomaster as he brandishes a sputtering torch and marches defiantly through the rain towards the wicker ball, only to have his torch go out as he thrusts it into the spear. Uh, sphere. Not to worry. It shall be lit. No problems here. All will be well. Thank you all for being so patient in our carnival of remembrance. Uh, quick question, because mm -hmm. this is hitting a certain note. Uh, is it possible to see what's inside the big sphere? Or is it just a sphere of oil? Roll of, a perception wood, check rather. for me, or an investigation, I'll allow that. Uh, well, I'm pretty handy at both, but we'll try this one. Oh, damn. 26. It is pretty solidly woven wicker, but it did seem very heavy and required quite a bit of townspeople to hoist it. So it's either very dense wood or you're, there's something there to your suspicions. I'd like to get closer to that boy. Something, something's wrong. The Burgomaster mutters out a sort of speech on remembering the fallen, um, those that fell to evil, and again attempts to light the wicker ball. It continues to sputter before going out again, and a singular laugh erupts from the crowd, drawing his fiery gaze, as well as gasps from the surrounding townsfolk. He will look rage unhinged in his eyes and cry for the guard to go arrest that person and bring them up to the stage. What are you guys doing? I see all of your tokens <laughs> kind of creeping up and I just want to know what's happening here. I was trying to get a good look at the vicar basket. Uh, obviously something's going on in there, so if the guards are moving away, I'd like to even move closer. Um. Yeah, guards will actually uh, converge on a man uh, and take him up to the stage. Uh, Irina is going to be kind of scouting the crowd. Like she's moved up. She's scouting the crowd. She's looking for, uh, you know, Lady Wachter, uh, any of those cloaks that we saw clearing out the city from before, like trying to get an understanding of what the potential plan is that we're supposed to be a part of. I'm a cool guy leaning against this building right where roll, my token is. Roll a perception for me, Irina. Oh, day. <laughs> there it is! Thank <laughs> God! 
you will notice quite a few figures in this crowd um, do not seem to even be bothering with the fake smiles uh, and definitely ha all have hoods pulled up over their heads. Um, am I able to see like like the like she's looking for anyone that she recognizes you know you, what I mean? like even you will be the first to notice lady fiona escorted by a few men uh she will walk past lady petrovna where uh she has kind of ridden her horse over to this main dais here and be striding towards the stage as the baron sputters and rages about this man uh, upsetting the the peace and civility and happiness in this bastion of safety uh, and this town he is welcoming in the devil with his lack of respect and decorum and Lady Fiona will walk up onto the stage and lower her hood and as she speaks, multiple people that you have now noticed in the crowd will also be removing their hoods. And hold on just one second for me. Uh, Irina is like seeing this is gonna motion back to Toby, like just a quick uh, get ready kind of motion, maybe even calling him closer. You might have to, cause he's like currently looking at any food stand. This is a thing he has been waiting for. Oh he is God. indulging. Uh-huh. <laughs> Even though the with all the rain, it's going to look weird because it's like going to stop at points and hit him like in the snout and like drip off and it's just going to look real weird around him for everyone else. Like the, the, the fake clothing he's wearing isn't getting wet. real odd Fiona will throw back her hood and, and shout out clearly using magic to make her voice louder and say good people of Velaki do you not see what farce this man is playing this town's safety pales in the view of the draconic measures placed on it by this man as we have seen in the past few days, the safety is but a fool's dream. What good are these laws? If the Count keeps away, only for monsters to go bump in the night. I say we seize the town from the clutches of this despot and start anew. Uh, the Baron looks disturbed and retorts, my good lady Vakther, why is it that every time something happens, you are the first to chip away at the seat of power? Do you really think that you of all people could lead these people in dark times? That you could keep them safe when the devil is knocking at the gate every waking moment? And as he speaks, spittle is going to start flying from his mouth and he's breathing quite heavily. And guards are starting to kind of almost flank and gather up on him. Lady Fiona stays cool and collected. As if she is talking to a group of friends in her living room. Oh, Baron, you must be mistaken. It is you who chips away at the seat of power. I am merely here to prevent the town from falling in despair when you inevitably drop to the ground as you chip away the last pieces from your pedestal. She turns to the crowd and says, My fellow Vallachians, for far too long we have suffered, suffered under false pretenses. We have been shown that the strict and unjust laws placed upon us by this dictator do not keep us safe. They torment us, they hurt us, he kills us. And she says this, pointing to the Burgomaster, he locks us up and for what? To keep the devil outside? 
because the Count is afraid of our happiness. In the crowd, people start to murmur, and Arena, you are, and now all of you are seeing more and more people, uh, Fiona's cultists, unmasking themselves. Well, lowering their hoods. They actually are all wearing masks. Uh, and they are these beautiful golden sun masks uh, that cover the top halves of their faces. And as she continues to speak, they all lower their hoods and take up position uh, near all of the guards. Um, uh, there, go for it, Colin. There's no guard near me, right? At least token-wise, or would there be? <clears throat> um, let's assume that all of the tokens you can see, there's more of. But uh, no, if you would like to step away from a guard, that would be fine. I'm trying to position myself real quick within 30 feet of Lady Walker, but also still just kind of nonchalantly like leaning against this building. Um, and I'm going to like hold a hand up to like trace a sigil, but not yet. And kind of just flash everyone a look of like, I'm waiting until this pops off personally and then that's all i'm doing uh when is gonna walk up next to uh van richten real quick also getting within 30 feet uh or well getting within 30 feet of the baron so uh, just a few more steps forward i guess um hey. <laughs> well, just like just like nonchalantly like <laughs> um and if i need to roll a stealth i can that's fine uh but uh van richten and colin you can see that uh winchester has a doll in one hand and he he's like focusing on the baron and he watches the doll doll's features slowly shift into the features of the baron does he see that uh van richten and, <laughs> and colin probably would <laughs> yeah uh and then uh, <sighs> when he's when he's just gonna step back a little bit a few cultists have started to creep up the stage and the baron is kind of backing up now well the guards kind of stand tensely, still holding the man that the Baron had them drag up on stage. And Baron Vlakovich will... The... These people, they are... They work for the devil. I do not doubt it. Now I ask you, look to me for guidance. Look to our guards for peace and safety. And let us rid us this town of the traitors in our midst. And Fiona, tall and graceful will stride over to the Baron and reach up with a dagger and stra stab it directly into his throat. Oh, and shit. Rip it sideways and turn back to the crowd. I have ridded us of our tyrant dictator. Join me in our cause and help me rid the city of his followers and those that would hurt us. And at this point, Coltis and her right-hand man, Ernst, are going to slit the throats of his wife and child, Victor. What the fuck? And Shit. the Coltis are going to start moving towards all of the guards, and everyone is starting to engage in fighting. Uh, I have absolutely... Is this as Baron falls and slumps, Quick. clutching one... his throat, gurgling. I have... A question is this a guard down here where are you pointing sorry I'm, I'm like way in the southwest part of the map oh okay i'm chilling ah. with myself apparently is this a, like is that a guard yes so this this cultist dude's gonna just like absolutely i'm gonna stop him like that ain't cool okay and like so uh, you are engaging with the cultist well, at first, what's going to look like is just like this 
taller person just like stopping him, but it's like his hands are out, but something else is clasping him because Toby's obviously larger than the illusory man before them. So it's going to be almost like a weird like hand here, but it's a further reach. You're forced mm -hmm. to all of this seems to happen in a singular moment where she does this, and at the same moment, as if planned, obviously, uh, her cultists and Ernst take out the wife and son, and all of the cultists move in on the guards. So, Toby, let's let's have you guys roll initiative against the angry mob and cultists. Uh, quick, quick note: uh, I am using my reaction to get the Baron's soul into the metal pendant. Okay. It's I can use his reaction when I see death yeah. and can trap a soul. Okay. Ooh. So, like, this little light will pop out and wisp into. I'll just tuck that back in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, okay. Well, oh, I don't know if that was a good thing or bad thing, but it's a thing. <laughs> I... Purple's right. It's free souls. <laughs> it's free souls. <laughs> it's free real Did we be rolling initiative right now? Like, what, what the fuck is yes, going on? Yes, roll initiative. <laughs> okay. Thing, it's, you ever been in a purge before? <laughs> First time? Hey, uh, First I'm time? straight up with the whole the avatar, the lady walkers up there like, Hey, everyone! Ryan! <laughs> Basically. Uh, the and bonfire, the fucking while her here. voice, even magically amplified, is drowned out by the chaos that ensues, she stands there with the dripping blade still at her side, standing on the stage, talking calmly about her plans to raise up this town from the ashes into a new dawn where the sun will shine on us all. Uh, just calmly orating from the stage, uh, a sort of fury behind her eyes uh, glazed over slightly as the chaos just erupts in the city. Oh, this is the night of fucking long knives. Okay. Okay, Toby, it looks like you are up, so you can engage that cultist. I'm more or less just like stop. Like I, like I saw, like hearing their kerfuffle, like while eating, just kind of like, what the hell? And then see her just fucking stab him in the throat, and you know, uh, immediate sense of like, oh shit, uh, seeing this cultist about to stab a dude, like what the hell? And just grab his arm or her arm, whatever they are. It's like, uh, you, you know, this is supposed to be a party, dude. This is a party foul. Okay, so you are going to, like, what, grapple him? If, I I guess, uh, if that's what it's going to require. Yeah, um, go ahead. I mean, if you're not trying to, like, actually fight him, if you're just trying to be like, hey, no, then, man. So be, uh, be to 28. Uh, you can do athletics or acrobatics. I don't know if you can beat me in that. I don't know if I can either, but let's let let's see. I don't think it's even possible, like mathematically possible. No, uh, plus zero, no. <laughs> so I'm just like, just like the weird of, out of uh, the fo the force grab essentially from what it looks like, and just, what are you doing? Uh. He will actually, for reaction, respond, he'll, he'll look at you. And again, he's got that kind of glazed over look where he's not actually making eye contact, but seems to be staring at, like, your right earlobe uh, in that disconcerting way. And say, we must rise from the ashes to the new dawn and bring the sun. Holy one. I literally have no idea what you're saying. We you can't just come up here and stab people. We must. Please lend your blood to the cause. What? Uh, and he's going to again try and get out of the grapple. Are you just continuing to hold him? I, I, I yeah, I'm just gonna hold this okay. dude. He's fucking insane, trying to stab people at a party. 
All right. Uh, is that? Are you doing anything else? Like um, I mean, a... if I can like uh, pin him, just keep him grappled. Yeah. I mean, he is funny. not. I I genuinely think it's mathematically impossible for him to get out of your grip. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I, I, eventually, I may roll really low, but I, I have a plus ten to that roll. Yeah. So I mean, okay. Um, Ben Richton, what are you doing? Mm. Oh no. Uh, d -d 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 it, what is, can I look across the square, mm -hmm. uh, to, to see what Blinsky's doing? Well, he was giving a wonderful little puppet show, uh, talking about this mechanical man creator that like uh, is a hero of his and showing off a wonderful little mechanized device. However, now he is come children, children. And he's trying to usher all the children like kind of behind a side of the building. Hmm. Um, it's not his first rodeo, right? It is what not I, I his think. first Plinsky's, rodeo. He lives Plinsky's here. He's got is Blinsky okay, an that's... approved supervisor of those children? <laughs> Blinsky is Blinsky. Don't be weird. He's no... He if just he wants no to good, make that children not... nappy. If he was no yappy. good, he would not be Blinsky. Yappy. It's H-Y-A-P-P-Y. -P -P -Y. Are they yappy. Have nappy where they're yappy. like tired but yappy. also happy so they're going to have a good sleep? Ooh, okay, uh, in that case, I have how many party members? Four. Uh, going to pull out a holy symbol, and I believe what is Bless's uh, range? Is that does it have a range? Thirty feet. Answers Toby. Why can't run off? I got the soul. I got what I needed. Uh, I got mine. I'm gonna move here. Oh, I super can't reach Toby, can I? Probably Damn. not, because okay. I was busy okay. eating. Cool, cool. Um. I would like to stop measuring, please. Okay, I guess not. Anyway, uh, while this figures itself out, I am going to uh, extend Bless to, I guess uh, I'll cast, still get four uses out of it and Bless uh, everyone here, uh, Colin Winchester, Irina, and myself. So I'll sort that out. Again, I'm still measuring for some reason, but. Unclick it. I am unclicking a whole bunch of stuff. I'll figure it out, but I will Bless. And uh, then okay. I, I will uh, like hmm. uh, call to the group. We need to get out of here immediately. Okay. Uh, the guards continue uh, to engage the cultists. Townspeople are running, screaming, uh, falling into the mud. Uh, it is a complete riot out here. The entire square has just imploded. Irina, what are you doing? Uh, Irina was kind of... She was positioning herself, trying to get, like, eyes on uh, Lady Lydia and Victor and, like, watching them die. She's going to grimace, just knowing that she was not quick enough. Um, and she's going to jump down off of the fountain where she kind of stood up. These folks that are in the, like little holders here are they still being held there what's their situation like on the stage here in the stocks they're locked yeah. into the stocks yes gotcha uh irene is going to jump down and try to cut through the crowd uh just to get those people out like so they're not just at the whims of whatever battles raging here um because that's her concern is like people's safety um, so she's going to move over and using the butt of one of her daggers, try to like break off the locks of these stocks and kind of looking at the guard. If he tries to approach, she's going to try and talk him down. Uh, um, the guard is not that. focused on you. Uh, awesome. they could give two shits about these prisoners. Um, gotcha. they are focused on the cultists. And again, uh, <laughs> there's a lot more people here than there are tokens. Yeah, so. absolutely. Absolutely. So she's yeah. going to uh, try and do that. Uh, like okay. every once in a while, glancing back at her party members. Is yeah. there a role or anything you need? Me no, to do? as the chaos erupts okay. around you, you are just going to make your way through the crowd and start 
like opening these stocks, breaking the awesome. locks where you can, uh, and getting all of these people out of their yeah. locks. Um, Fiona is continuing to speak. She clearly had a speech uh, prepared for this, and she is just going through it, though her voice is lost uh, in the roar of what is happening. Winchester, what are you doing? Uh, I would like to find the nearest cultist, which is like right, right here-ish. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. And I would just like to kind of like start walking up towards him, not in a threatening manner, but I want to I want to try something. Um, and I'm going to walk up towards him, just kind of like casting a spell, and reach out. Wait, do I have to? Oh, I don't even have to touch him. Never mind. Uh, I just I stay where I am and I look at him uh, or them and uh, I cast dispel magic on them. On the cultist? Yeah. Okay, you will see them, uh, as this kind of goes over them, you will see them look a little weaker, uh, as if they were buffed up. But they're still, like, going at it with a guard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, they are not, sure not, they like, are not enchanted. No. Yeah. They are zealots, yeah, sir. <laughs> You can have my no, no, no magic uh, <laughs> necessary in this particular situation. They're here for the cause. I am, the punch already. I am okay to leave if we would like, friends. But that's my turn. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over to Colin. Okay. And I'm just gonna say I've got your back. And I'm gonna. Uh, I use my bonus action to help because uh, I have the ability to do that now. Okay. Uh, cultists and uh, pikemen and archers are continuing to engage. Bodies are falling, cut uh, in front of you, bleeding into the mud. The rain is falling quite heavily now, uh, and it is just a din of noise near deafening. Uh, Ernst is cleaning his blade and joining the fray. Colin, what are you doing? Yeah, so um, unlike everyone else, I've just sat here, super calm, just still leaning, not surprised at all as this all happens. Um, he'll kind of position himself for one last thing before um, he starts leaving the city with everyone else, uh, assuming that's what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, the best I can do is get Winchester and Van Richten and Lady Fiona. Uh, he's just going to casually just trace a sigil in the air, whisper some words, and give uh, those three resistance uh, against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing as he makes his way out of the city. Okay. Uh, so you will throw a buff uh, to Lady Walker and just kind of do a little See whatever ya. and start heading out on a side street while the chaos erupts. Yep, following everyone else. because Is everyone that's... else moving? Because I can take you out of initiative if that is the case. Um, Irene is going to be getting all the folks free. And if, if Wachter's just still on the stage, just pontificating, uh, yes. she's going to like wince again but realize that toby's not really with the group uh she's gonna look around and and see i'm assuming that toby's still just holding this cultist out by one hand being like it's supposed to be a party uh in which case irene is gonna move to toby to try and get him to come along okay uh there are other guards around toby they were engaged with other cultists now but they are now realizing that toby is holding one for them so they will look like they are beginning to advance on you toby what are you doing i'm um, just like struggling with this dude who's batsh guano he is, is crazy. shrieking and clawing at uh, you like a wild animal now and like, yeah and like it, which is gonna be just kind of weird because he's gonna reach and hit parts that visibly shouldn't be there and it's gonna knock the hat off um, and you're just gonna see like this whole yep. big crocodile man holding him. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's not good. Um, 
I mean, Man, more if, I villagers mean, will scream, but honestly, in this chaos, uh, uh, it's it's barely even noticeable that you have changed form. Um, if this dude's just gonna keep being a insane person, I'm just gonna just smash his head with mine, just to like knock him out. Yeah, uh, he will. Uh, he will go still, uh, unconscious. What are you doing with him? Is he breathing? He is. Okay, good. I'm just gonna. Sh whoops, that was a little much. Just lay him down and. Uh. Uh, grab, uh, Rickton's hat because it's not mine to lose. <laughs> okay, and are you going to join Arena? I'm just. I'm gonna run up here with all the chaos and just like. Oh, excuse me, I'm just uh, coming through here. Yeah. Uh, to to anyone open. else looking, you will see the pikemen come up from where to Toby just left and completely stab through that oh, cultist no! body on the ground <laughs> uh, and then continue on in uh, the fight. Okay, that was not my plan to have happen, but I can't control other people. Kill confirmed. <laughs> uh, if, are we still in initiative? Because, like, I... No, go I'm ahead. Not, okay. yep. Yeah, Irene is going to move over to Toby and just grab his arm and look at him and... Uh, we need to go, Toby, now. Uh, yeah, and start this was not kinda, the kind of party I expected start dragging him like over um trying to pass in front uh, of the stage like towards everyone else um as we all kind of collectively leave with the request that we as we're passing the stage walkers just up there still da 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 dying yes in fact uh someone at some point threw a torch onto the stalks uh that you freed oh. those people from and uh yeah. they have uh mingled with some oil and seem to be burning despite the rain. Uh, and fire is lit up in the reflection of her eyes as she just continues to preach out over the crowd about the dawn of the new age and the sun that will come and light even in this moment is coming to the town. She can see it. It's so bright and clear. Uh, um, as yeah, don't guys... use water on an oil fire. Yeah, as as we're kind of running past, Irene is gonna like take off her hood, like, to, and try to like just call out to Wachter, uh, and like I'm assuming just no response. Your voice, yeah, and your voice is kind of lost in the din. Gotcha. Uh, Irene is just gonna shake her head and uh, continue to run with everybody else, trying to make for the western exit of the city. What are you? Uh, what are you doing? You ruined as, us, this whole party. As we're running, uh, I'd like to kind of blow on the whistle to summon Khan. Just yeah, let me let me get him. Yeah, he doesn't need to be like in this. Do you scene. have a I'm you have just... a bison whistle, but it's for saber tooth tigers. <laughs> Khan, yip yip, <laughs> yip yip, um, yip yip, Khan. Can uh, but yeah. It, as we're leaving the square specifically, is there like, um, like just thinking about um, how militia would maybe have a little bit of training and maybe try to form up? Uh, are the guards even trying to get into a semblance of a formation, or are they just um, kind of it is complete and... chaos, and they are currently without their captain. Uh, there's still a bunch of people in the in the town square, right? Yes, like uh, though though they are running, fleeing. Uh, it's nothing but chaos, rain, blood, and uh, mud. Really, just everywhere. Uh, can we say that as we're running, um, as we if we get like maybe I mean, what's the range of the spell? Um, like maybe a hundred feet away from the town square, uh, can Winchester look back and see if there's any like portion of the town square that has been completely vacated by civilians? Um, there's not really any portion that's completely vacated of anyone. Okay. Well, just, just civilian. I, like, I understand there's going to be fighting, but I just don't. I don't know if you'll find a, a, okay. a good enough patch for that with how... No, that's that's fine. That's fine. If we're going to be leaving, we might as well leave in style. And I'll 
pull the rug off my back that's been tied to my back and just throw it on the yes. ground. The unicorn. <laughs> and I'll ride it like a skateboard just as I'm following everyone, just to make sure I can keep up and stay along. Okay. Because how, how fast is Khan? Oh, Khan fast as fuck. I didn't need him, like, oh. I didn't I was gonna want say, him, I mean, like, like, I can carry probably Irina and Winchester for He's 40, he's got go 40, for... so. Yeah, that's how fast I am. Sounds pretty fast. But I, I wasn't like, I will riot him now. It was more like, there is a riot. I need my companion's clothes and piccolo some good pants, so. All right, now we're, <laughs> we're getting the fuck out of here, I guess. <laughs> So this you head out. Uh, you, <laughs> this is the worst party I've ever been to. Uh, you head out the western gate, and you come uh, uh, behind you. You will actually see as the rain kind of lessens, uh, roar of flame yet again behind you in the city, just casting an orange tint to the clouds above. And let's see here. Some you will birds. come to the Luna River eventually traveling west. Well... <laughs> Why did she do that? She's insane. Well, I didn't think she was just gonna do that. Oh, you don't just stab I'm... someone at a party. Do you? It wasn't a party. It was a trap. It wasn't a trap. It was a coup. <sighs> A little bit of color management, you call it B. By the way, I suppose I think Velaki will be very much changed upon our return. The payar says. Oh, here's your hat back. Ah, thank you. If we, if you are in need of it again, but ask. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't really like uh, hitting my head and getting my tail stepped on a whole lot. It was not great. I think my gambit has been played, however. So. Irina's yeah. going to move up uh, as they're kind of debriefing and talking. She's going to move up next to Colin uh, and lay a hand on his shoulder. You were right. You don't need to say anything, but just know, I know. There's... There's no... It's not great to be right in these situations. It's... There's no... It's not a win or prideful thing. It's... It's unfortunate all around. So it doesn't... doesn't do any good to be right in this case. I know, but... Balaki seemed to be a town of suffering, no matter what. We will see those people free in the end, and walk there will have for, for justice. Why didn't we just take care of her while we were there? Couldn't, will we? As terrible as it sounds, she's one of the only things holding that city together. Yes, she didn't care about the townspeople. She just wanted to get rid of everything that uh, would side with the Baron. So it is unfortunate, but I think the townspeople for now are more okay than the Baron's guards and family. Uh, I don't... I don't know why she had to, like, all of those people. Oh, well, it's what people who seek power do. They don't need anything getting in their way or anyone to remind them of 
who was in power before. Toby, this is very important, and you need to... You need to try and pay more attention here. Lady Walker seeks you. She believes that you are chosen for some purpose. And it is possible that her people will come after you. What? You remember at her house, the dinner? You are chosen from some fate? Well, I remember was tearing up her couch and thinking. I understand, but this is what I mean, Toby. You need to try and listen, understand. We are here to answer your questions, but I need you to... I need you, you asked for respect. I will give it, but I need you to try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, is the, what does the road look like to my companions as we continue forward? So actually, <laughs> if, if you if you cross over uh, the Luna River, you will come to kind of an X intersection um, with branches to the northwest, northeast, south. West and southeast. Uh, there. The lower half of a snapped wooden signpost thrusts upward at an angle near the eastern elbow of the intersection. The top half of the sign featuring arms pointing in four directions uh, very clearly lies in the weeds nearby. I'll grab it. Yeah. Um, are you gonna... I, I assume you're trying to read it. Uh, you can kind of hold it up to see how it originally went uh, together and see that when the two parts of the sign are aligned and rejoined, the arms indicate Kresk, Solenka Pass to the southwest, and Lake Bertok to the northwest, Velaki and Ravenloft to the northeast, and Berez to the southeast. Said we're going to Kresk, yeah? Yeah. And they're just like, like, look at the sign again. I guess we're going that way then. Yeah, we should <clears throat> travel as long as we can handle. And I, honestly, I don't know anything about the town, but maybe sleep outside of it and I, I don't know about entering weird towns um, in the middle of night, if, if any of that makes sense. If we can reach Kresk within the day, then it would be best to get inside the walls, but I doubt we will make that much progress. But putting as much distance between ourselves and Valaki is the smartest move at the moment, as far as I'm concerned. It feels like um, there are many tracks going between um, Velaki and this Kresk direction, and very few um, going southeast. But there does seem to be one heading northwest. Does anyone know of anything up near uh, the Lake Baratok? Yes. Can I try to remember if I know of anything in that direction? I could also maybe remember something. So it would depend, and uh, players keep in mind character knowledge. Vedric, mm -hmm. did you know definitely uh, yeah. that uh, you were kind of for a while making your headquarters at a tower on the lake? Uh, on a little yeah. tiny, like, island peninsula sort of thing on the lake. Uh, but haven't been there in quite some time. Oh, so the, the tower? Tracks, the but tower it all depends. 
uh, yeah, the tower that's literally behind you, huh? Van Richten. Uh, do, do I but, know about it? <laughs> but but I don't know if uh, it's up to you whether you share hmm. that. Um, real <sighs> quick, we do have a map, and it's very obvious where we are on the map, as far as I think. I think we're missing one fork on the map, sort of, kind of. So really quick, let me take you back to a page you have not been on uh, for a while. <laughs> oh my God, it's him, kill it. Uh, but okay. you were in Velaki and you are now, uh, you just barely crossed the bridge there over the Luna River and you are now at this crossroads. Mm. Yeah, so if uh, Van Richten has that map uh, that you shared with Turk, it's kind of easy to tell which way goes which. Yes, and uh, it follows that road to uh, to Kresk, but we might find some refuge to the lake. The tracks up. Hmm. Which lake specifically? I talk, not so Okay, much. okay. That's not the place we should go at the That's, yeah, it was a hideout I made there, but. We should try to get as far towards Kresk as we can. Get, give us time to set up a camp. I'm going to look up the road thoughtfully, but then nod. That's a good, good plan. Uh, I can scout ahead uh, on the road to make sure that we are safe as we go. I, I don't think that's a good idea. With all the rain, I don't think. I mean, I, there I is can't a, even smell stuff. There is a giant cat with us who could lead the way just a tiny bit. But oh, we, have, we have the wagon, right? Don't we? Don't we have a wagon? He he he. We oh, left. I, I had. I had we left. Wagon. Yeah. Unfortunately, we that was about lost that. <laughs> Ooh. I got I got corn out of there. I forgot to hitch up the horses. They were released in the fight against the rods, however. Um. So DM with. Can I? I don't smell anything out of the ordinary. Do I like? Just smells like wet forest. Yes. Mud and it khaki. smells like Barovian forest, recent rain, and that kind of lingering smell of decay that just kind of permeates everything. No no wet dog smell nearby. <laughs> no wet dog smell currently. Okay. I, I hate to be uh, a broken clock that chimes too much, but we should keep walking and talking and not standing here so close to the city. Yeah, Irina, Irina's already kind of started to drift up the trail, staying within eyesight and everything, but she's trying to use her familiarity with Barovia to scout ahead for, for trouble. Okay. Uh, you will... Uh, as you continue, this road kind of uh, slopes along. Da -da -da -da. Luna. Um, the northwest branch uh, kind of climbs up gently, uh, becoming a dirt trail through the woods. And then this southwest branch seems to be the most traveled, the <laughs> widest, kind of winds gently downwards uh, as it follows. Uh, I'm sorry, that's the southeast. <laughs> uh, the, the southwest one branches away from the river and Velaki behind and kind of travels almost uh, at a level ground uh deep in the forest with with pretty good sign of frequent wagon tracks 
And you will see as you continue to travel ahead a footbridge of sorts. Is it a bridge made out of feet? No. So that would be uh, kind of awesome. Is there a meat ladder attached to it? Oh god, please no. <laughs> you started it, Tony. I, mm, I, me, did not start that, sir. Thank you. No, but you started a bridge made out of feet, which... Listen, this Barovia, it, it would be pretty uh, on par. Um, it's an old stone bridge. And it crosses a, a wide ditch, uh, about 15 feet across, 12 feet deep, with steep sides and a few handholds. From both ends of the bridge, a well-worn trail winds towards the south and into the trees. Oh, is it safe to cross? Do you want to investigate it? Kinda. I mean, I assume it would be with wagons going across it or something, but like, it seems spooky dooky, and I don't trust it. Arduino? Yeah. Yes, Winchester. Is there a way you can tell with your primeval senses uh, if there are any? Um, there's a chill about this place that I don't like. Uh, Irina will just nod, and she's actually going to pull out uh, the angelic feather first uh, and and gently lay it on the dirt. Um, so it's going to tell me if there are any undead within 30 feet of us, so like immediately near us. Okay. Uh, it does not seem to move. It just kind of Looks like it's fluttering for just a second and then stays still, inert. Uh, Irene is gonna, uh, or I'll turn to Winchester and say, There are none here immediately near us. I am afraid if I use my awareness that it will most certainly tell us that there are things lurking in the woods. Well, it's not entirely true that there's nothing around us. Uh, this bri this bridge has, of course, seen a lot of death, but I don't I don't think they'll harm us. So you may feel it in the air, but we're we're fine as as far as I can tell currently. Besides Colin, too, um, I think they'll leave us alone. Hopefully. Uh, so I got a nineteen investigation. Mm -hmm. Uh. You will notice that there's quite a bit of thick webbing underneath this bridge. Oh, ew. Burn it. Burn it like my own house because I get fucking spiders everywhere with all the storms. <laughs> well, the here be spiders. And... Uh, Irene is just going to keep the feather out and kind of loosely holding it in her hands as we kind of move forward. Just like if anything comes close, they'll you know at least what? know the direction. I would like to just like step forward a little bit on the bridge and just use my witch's stomp a couple times to see if it like, because you know how like if you do a couple of steps around spiders, they start skittering because I'm not mm -hmm. sure what's going on. I want to see if there's any creepy crawlies under here. Whoa, before Toby. We get, don't before we stomp, get shocked by him. Don't stomp that hard. Gentle, light. Your your foot is stronger than the average person's. So I'm smarter okay. than the average person. Uh, there <laughs> actually is going to be uh, God some, <laughs> some motion. Mm -hmm. Gross. <sighs> Icky, nasty. Uh, and you will it. actually see a few spindly legs kind of curl up over uh, the side uh, uh, of the bridge. That's a big one. Gross and bad. Hmm. Interesting. How far away? Far enough away that I'm going to bull rush it and beat the shit out of it so it dies. Right, oh, no. Giganta. Uh, and, uh, you will see behind it another one join oh, it. Oh god, over it the has side. a whole family. 
That makes sense. They are pack predators. Not for mm-hmm. long. And the first one will kind of like lift up and raise its first half. And you will hear almost like a hissing. Uh, and then it will charge <laughs> towards you. Yes. No. Not if I charge at it first. <laughs> Gross and bad. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. I'm going to need oh. you guys to roll initiative. Please. Is this, is this real distance the... here? Yep. Hell yeah. Uh, also, to be clear, the footbridge, uh, oh! the map kind of shows that it's a woodsy material, but it was stone. It is stone. It is stone. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I just judge, I just get worried when we're shouting burn it on the wooden bridge across this. I this mean, good. I'm glad it's it is That means that they'll, they'll, they'll never return because there won't be a bridge to return to. No, but we That's fair. I can cross. Um, I have a climbing speed. I will just fuck it. I will King Kong oh, you all to the other side. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tell Khan to hang back at the moment, so I'm I'm just not gonna have him be an initiative. How the hell do you have a plus six to your initiative, Jesus? I am wisdomish. Not you, Winchester. Oh. <gasps> mm-hmm. oh, no. Uh, because I took battle wise, it gives me my wisdom score on top of my. Oh, apparently it didn't put me in the initiative. I have a twenty-one, as well as Chester here. Why did it not put you in the thing? I want, you know, I don't know if uh, it was like roll 20 because I rolled from beyond. 21? Okay. I did. It's probably because you didn't click your token. Yeah, you okay, did. okay. Duh. Uh, who, you have the higher decks. I do, but it said, but it says you go first, so. Uh, okay, I mean, that's fine. Much, much like uh, Lumiere, be my guest. You can do it, uh, that's fine. Um, distance between these two stupids. Cool. Let me check something real quick. Um. Yeah. Uh, it's still raining, right? Uh, it's softer rain now. Uh, it's more of a drizzle. Yeah, uh, I I, I wanted to do this in the town square, so I'm doing it now. Um. Uh oh. I know what you're uh, doing. What? There's uh, a soft, like, bubbling sound as in a 30 foot wall next to these spiders, the rain halts, congeals into a massive blob of water, and then just crashes into them as I cast Tidal Wave. I need both of them to make a deck sick. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I rolled terribly. <laughs> uh, I knew not. So 17 with the first one and four with the second one. Okay, the first one succeeds. So it takes half damage. Okay, I thought this would push them. Unfortunately, it does not. Um, it just knocks them prone. Um, so the damage is the damage is gonna be 21 points of bludgeoning damage okay uh half to one of them uh and then the one that failed is knocked prone half to one of okay so hold on minus 21 and then minus 10 thank you you would think that'd be easy for me but it's not um <laughs> and then I will kind of back up a little bit back up a little bit uh, and right next to Irina kind of grab her by the shoulder and then point at the one that wasn't knocked down and go attack that one you'll have a better chance um, and I'll use the help action as a bonus action so you have advantage on your next attack Irina. and that is my turn okay uh, which one was knocked prone? Uh, this one in the back. Okay. Oh, shucks. Um, Toby is just, uh, he's gonna kind of scrunch his face because in his swamps, there are also the giant spiders and they are also the nasty. Um, so he's going to rage, uh, and because of that, he can move up to half his speed. 
his instinctive pounce. Um, so he's still going to move up to this spider, and he is going to uh, beat the shit out of it with a 20 to hit. That will hit. Cool. They are just it's gonna spiders. Take, it's going to take nine damage. Okay. Uh, I need it to make a strength save. Ah, oh, that's just enough. So it's not knocked prone. Um, but Good. I'm going, I'm going to grapple it. Do we have? Oh, never mind. I'm like. Uh, I will attempt to grapple for another attack. So it's got to be the 26, which I don't know if it can. I don't know if it. We'll we'll roll anyways. No, it's no. grapple. Um. <laughs> How far of a drop is it? Uh, it is only crap. I just read it. I want to say it's Sorry. twelve feet. Can I suplex this thing and just fucking like, just to smash on the ground like you would smash a spider? I mean, that would be another action, would it not? Would it take? I mean, I would think I'd have the strength to move it. I have it. I'm holding it. I would just like. No, I mean it's fine no. if it's not. No, 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 no. Points saved fine. up. Um, fine, and I'll just beat the shit out of it again. Now that I have okay. it in my claws. Okay. Eighteen to hit. Uh, that will hit. For ten more damage, as I'm just like this. Just mm, holding mm. it, just <laughs> punching it in the face. Okay. In the eyes. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> oh, God. Um, okay. So while you attempt to send this spider to God, uh, Van Richten, <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> well, I'm bringing God to the spider then, I suppose. Uh, He's I'm going to... to meet God. It's our duty to help them along. Uh, I'm going to move here and let's get another bless going. Uh, which will, of course, just be. Uh, it's a button. I want to hit the button, please. It's blessed. Y'all know what it does. Do the thing. Yep. Everyone's got blessed. You thing. are. You are thusly blessed. I am thusly, thusly blessed, and all was well. Uh, and I believe that's all I'm going to do this turn. Yeah, well, Uh, yeah. Oh, I guess I'm gonna. You and your grapple, Tony. I am annoyed. L listen, the, the whole point of me is supposed to grab, pin down, and just stop. Just stop resisting. Ooh. Uh, it's, wait, what was the strength save for? To try to get out. Me. You ain't getting out. I ain't doing shit. <laughs> yeah, you ain't even piercing. My my hide is too thick. Uh, so apparently you have to get on the inside to kill me. Irina, what are you doing? Don't give me ideas, um, Tony. Uh, she's <laughs> going to. Uh, I know that Winchester told me to shoot the one that uh, was not prone, but it is now grappled with Toby, and she's concerned that she's not going to be able to hit it. Uh, Please so try. She... I would love that. If you I mean, I have in the a... ass, I'm gonna be a little upset. Uh, she's gonna actually uh, fire at the spider that's further up on the bridge with her longbow, just because again, I'm very concerned about hitting Toby. Um, Fine. Use, using her advantage. Fill up the tag. Advantage a 24 to hit. That will hit. I'm so she's gonna just shoot at it twice, so we can just get that out of the way really quick. And is it still an advantage because it's prone still? Uh, well, if it's prone, prone you have disadvantage. disadvantage. So the first one should have been a straight roll. Oh, shit. Well, no, because you gave me the help action. It makes it a straight roll. Oh. Um, I mean, we can go off the other one. Let's see. Uh, anyways, a 20. A 20 will hit. Awesome. Normal. So the first one, I am going to use Colossus Slayer as well. 
Alright, let me find it in here. Too many things. Eight. And it's backslash R. I cannot have this music anymore. I just realized it's the roundhouse music, and I roundhouse, realized yeah. why do I feel such tension in my chest? Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's Never happening? Completed. Is it anything real? <laughs> and this is where I realize I haven't had mu music from Foundry the entire game. So you yeah. never do. I know this though. <laughs> well, no, I usually have it lower, but I need to refresh because I don't have it at all. <laughs> uh, so 20, 20 piercing damage total as she levies those two arrows uh, at the spider on the far end of the bridge. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and use, well, I'm going to stay put. Um, let me double check bonus actions really quick. Yep, that's it. Okay. Colin, why am I so low on the initiative? Colin! <laughs> now I have music. How nice. He gonna uh, be dead before I even get to take a turn. Well, probably not, because I can't really do anything. Uh, I can't move enough to go attack one, and I can't shoot far enough to attack one. So, uh, that means everyone, everyone but... Toby, uh, just take a good old blade ward and uh, get your resistances, and uh, that will be the end of my turn. All right, finally is my turn. Okay, this dude is actually going to uh, bonus action disappear from your guys's view. Oh, what the shit! Uh, and he is going That's gonna to freak go Toby out. Over here. Uh, and that is all he is doing. Okay, Winchester, it's your turn. You're muted, sir. So we don't know where the other one went. You do not. Even you do not. Yeah. Ah. Not Arachnigiganta. Oh. As a reaction, as Winchester says this out loud, can I just look at Irina and say, what about the telescope thingy? I can give it a try as she uh, is kind of reaching for another arrow. As I to say, space spiders exist in the left. Oh, all the edge, yeah. Uh, well, I guess I will uh, slightly modify my plan. Um, Winchester is gonna walk up a little bit to about here and yell out, "Toby, be careful! Fire coming your way!" Um, and he'll just like gr grumbling. And just... and this is you confirm. This is a stone bridge, yes? Yes, the stone <laughs> wanna... bridge. It's Listen, wet anyway. I don't want to fuck this up. Uh, Winchester kind of like wrings his hands out and around Toby you see this uh, like light begin to encircle Toby in a 20 foot diameter. So we'll say the, the walls, the two ends will be uh, right in front of Toby, like on the spider, and right in front of Ben Richten. Um, and uh, this inferno column is going to apparate facing outward so Toby does not get hurt as I cast Wall of Fire. Uh, so I need a dexterity save from that spider. Okay. But that's not going to go well. Can I really even dodge it if I'm holding it still? <laughs> yeah, because it's it's on it, not on you. And the fire's like you, I can make it so that the the damage faces away from you. Uh, yeah. So twenty two points of fire damage to that thing. Okay. Cooking it perfectly. Uh oh shit. <laughs> 
Uh, despite being incredibly singed, burnt, and there was this terrible, loud, shrieking, hissing as this was happening, it is still up. Wild. Well, we'll see if he makes a save next turn. Uh, and I'm next to Colin. So, Colin, uh, I'm keeping an eye out for you, and whatever you do next, I'm going to help you with. Yeehaw. With what eyes? <sighs> I'm keeping an eye out, not eye in. <laughs> you have both your eyes out, actually. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> they just melted. Um, so Toby's just holding this poor creature in the fire, <laughs> like a spit roast. Mm -hmm. um, he is going to just beat the shit out of it. Uh, we're going to reckless attack it. Okay. Because, I mean, a homie don't play that. I assume a 25 hits. Yes. Uh, and I damage. mean, I'm just, I'm. is there a way that you would like to describe this? Because I'm not, yeah. Just grab him. He is a very weakened, burned spider. After, like, just clawing through its face, uh, popping the eyes, like, fucking bubble wrap. Um, just finally uh crushing it's uh detaching it's um i can't think whatever the forefront is in front of the thorax and just like ripping that off with the legs um as it's like basically being cooked you're i know it's not a great but this. uh being from the swamps uh you eat what you can get um and just like tearing it in half and it's okay. probably just going to start eating it. Ew! Toby Tony, is, no! How does Toby it taste, Toby? Is a obligatory carnivore. Uh, he eats when he can eat. And this is a That's... nice, cooked, perfectly meal. It's so, cooked and everything. Um, so he's just going to... Thinking, yo, this is good. Just going to continue eating it. Uh, kind of like offering out, like, uh, he can't... This is like just waving one of the little arms left. Like if anyone wants like a crab leg, because it's crabs are just underwater spiders, as we all know. Oh yeah, like, as we all. Does, any, does all anyone know. want one? <laughs> it's perfectly good. And that's oh just my turn. Um. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> it, now that it, I have ruined this for everybody, <laughs> I hate it. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh. You. <laughs> you are actually going to be out of initiative. The other spider is not going to reappear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he doesn't want to be part of my meal. No, he's he's done with that shit. Uh, -uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am just gonna like mouth stuff you with have, chitin and spider parts, just like offering a leg. You have proven yourself worthy ally, uh, or a, a formidable. Adversary, adversary. Thank you. The other one, the opposite of ally. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, he doesn't want any part of that. He's gonna stay yeah, hidden. I'm starting to think he has the right idea. God. Um, just, you're, you're just hear the crushing and crunching of. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to to you shouldn't. The, the venom sucks. It's not much uh, um, and just like you'll just see him like reach in with his claw and just grab it, twist it, and chuck oh, yeah. it. Oh. Uh. Caught, totally caught that. How how did you see it? Uh. No, I'm just fucking with you. With oh, the yeah, force. like I mean, if Winchester wants, he'll grab the other thing and whoop right to you. We should move on. Quickly you're, before you're just I like, do you want one? Nine. I'm yeah. already eaten. You know what? Fuck it. Throw me a leg. I'll try it. it yep. Just try it. Yeah. Just don't <laughs> think about the mouthfeel too much. It puts people off. <laughs> well, when someone's trying a new Damn food, it. Toby, you shouldn't say that. You well, should wait. I didn't want you to feel like, oh, this is weird in my mouth and just not eat it. Listen, uh, sometimes weird in your mouth is Just isn't choke that it bad. down. It's fine. Luca. Mm -hmm. 
uh, upon spending some time with this venom sack, can I synthesize some face, some face spider venom poison? Uh, if you want to harvest it, uh, could you please tell me the method in which you would harvest the venom sack, though? Me? Mm-hmm. Like, like I, I don't know, but I, uh, I can. Um, Is this an hmm. ability you have? I am a practiced healer. And I know how to harvest things for medical reasons. Describe it like you're doing, like you're emptying a pouch of Capri Sun. God, <laughs> Toby! That's oh. gross. No, I, I'm just taking the sack <laughs> right now. Um, but I I don't know. <laughs> I, Tom. When, so when let's say have you ever seen a corpse that has been half eaten is in front of you. Only half? So... Shit. Okay, yeah, Toby, did you leave the sack intact? Oh, I mean, I, 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 to, I yeah, fucking hate you, it. You say I things. I hate you, Tony. You're welcome. Um, ha, I, ha. Look, listen, look, I have, Toby I, I knows have... how to extract the the um venom gland, the fangs. So it's just like a grab it, twist, and pull. Like, yeah, yo, thanks. dick. You know what? Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna make you listen. You get it. You get it. You have it. Just go. <laughs> Just go. Have it. We are a serious. I don't want to hear. People. If I if I don't have to hear any more about it, then yes, you could just have it. <laughs> All right. Uh, question: Dose dosage wise, how many doses would I get out of that? Uh, we can figure that out in downtime. Okay. Uh, but should you guys now decide to cross the bridge with no other spiders uh, presenting themselves uh, and you continue to walk through the woods you will eventually see nestled just beyond the tree line of the old Spalit Grode uh, there's a hut it's kind of an odd sight it's perched atop a set of wooden scaffolding resembling uh, rickety stilts. And here, let me... Hmm. Uh, and draped with an array of flickering luminescent mushrooms, bulbs, and insects trapped in jars. The wooden hovel seems to serve as both home and a shop because there is a poorly painted sign on the main road directing travelers down the dirt path that leads to the hut, advertising green teeth enchantments, solicitors will be stewed. Does that mean they're going to give us stew? No. Oh, that's not great. Well, the person has a sense of humor, so they can't be that bad, right? It's Star Wars logic. <laughs> it's entirely possible that this is the home of a hag. It's not necessarily a bad thing, as long as everyone remembers their manners and doesn't off accept any anything. And it's that's a hit or miss. Can you can you repeat a, a phrase for me, Van Richten? Manners maketh man. Manners maketh man? Perfect. Cool. Read it in a book once. Just sounded better coming from, from you. Ah, Ed. Happy to instruct. I know. Wait. We know We know who lives here. We met her. On the Ooh. road, remember? Uh, Ginny, green teeth. She had the wagon full of items. We... We've met her before. Oh yeah, that was. I, uh, here, I here. I can I can show you what it looked like when you encountered her, mm. just to jog your memory. Yeah. She she encouraged us to find her uh, west of Velaki. That there was that she was going to uh, give us a spell, I believe. If we if we stopped here, we should we should absolutely stop here. Do I still was get like that scent? Was it a malicious intent when she mentions that? Or was I, it? I, no, she. I mean, she seemed odd and definitely with her own motivations, but uh, she, she. It seemed that she wanted to help. I 
did give her some of my hair that she said she would weave into a tapestry, which oh. might be a bit ominous, but again, I I think we should stop. She, she was nice enough for the land and uh... She's probably she probably already knows we're here, to be honest. So, is this her wagon from before? Uh, yes, it is. Does this have a bunch of gross corpses in it? It has uh, definite signs and lingering smells of having various mm. things in it. It smells like her. And. I say, I will follow your lead. Yeah, I have to use the bathroom, so as good as reason as any to go in. Well, uh, actually, uh, as you guys approach the the hut's door, I am going to end the session there. <gasps> Cliffhanger. Uh, gasp! Um, and just wrap things there. Uh... Let's see here. Uh, and we will pick up here when we return next session. Uh, so that will conclude session 18 of Curse of Strahd Dark Echoes. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, tune in for more every other Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Pacific. The next episode will be Saturday, October 9th. I am Luke Locke, and I have been your Dungeon Master this campaign. Uh, players, if we want to go around in order of overlay and just uh, shout out what you got going on. Uh, hi, that's me first. I'm Osarek Franco. I played Irina Kulyana, the Human Ranger. Uh, if you like my face and the words I say sometimes, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Osarex Franco. Uh, I'm in a variety of TTRPG content, both here on TPK Roleplay. Uh, you can come uh, back this evening uh, for the epilogue session of The Bard's Refrain, uh, the campaign GM inspires truly uh, as we say goodbye uh, to the story. And uh, it should be a really good time. I'm really excited. We've got some incredible role players. So if that's what you're into, Definitely come check that out. We start at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, then you can also find me uh, in Against the Tides over at Nat 20 next Wednesday, uh, which is a, a, just a rip roaring time. Um, I'm GMing a one shot, uh, Too Swift, Too Vicious, a Fast and Furious themed game using uh, a system created by Keegan EXE, I believe is their uh, username. Um, Renegades and Racers, which will be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, again, you can find me every other Saturday here for uh, Dark Echoes, uh, Tuesdays uh, in the Harpers. Uh, and I will also be in uh, Stargate Basilisk, which is a sister campaign that starts up mid-October. So lots of cool stuff going on. And just a huge thanks to chat for coming and hanging out. Huge thanks to my fellow players. I think you're all great. And thank you, Luca, for another amazing session. Passing into Cole. Hey, everybody. My name is Kohlrabi. I play Colin, the human antiquarian. Um, you can find me around at Kohlrabi basically everywhere. Um, I will be back on the 30th to host the uh, Game Jam showcase stream that we're having. Um, make sure you stick around tonight for the Bar's Refrain, and then tomorrow we also have another double feature, uh, Blood and Grit in Return to Isla Nubar, uh, that I'm sure Luca will talk about a little more. And then we're into October, where we have tons and tons of spooky goodness, and uh, unless I forgot, I'm not in any spooky one-shots, but I will be back for Too Swift, Too Vicious. Uh, and we will all technically be in costume. Um, and I'm scared because everyone hates me. But uh, that is about it for me. On to Ty. Hi, everyone. I'm Tyrant. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Dr. Tyrant. I play Charles Winchester, the half elf druid, right? That's my class. Um, tonight, today was a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to see more of me, 
uh, check out YouTube because I'm not in a lot of stuff uh, coming up except for uh, once a month this coming up Wednesday uh, we'll be over on that 20 uh, for Against the Tides uh, which is a really cool wild mount campaign um, definitely come check that out if you want to see me do a real real bad uh, Irish Scottish something accent um, and uh, every other Saturday uh, come back here for Dark Echoes because it's a lot of fun and uh, we obviously like to laugh and have a lot of fun uh, because if we don't laugh and have a lot of fun then we're crying <laughs> uh, but yeah that's that's me let's go on over to Tony hello I am Tony I played Toby the lizard folk barbarian um, and I'm glad I disturbed so many people about eating spiders today. Uh, it's just gonna get me through the rest of my week. Uh, I'm gonna ride that high. Um, besides this, I think uh, the fifth I have our um, Odyssey of the Dragon Lords campaign by Turk. Uh, that's coming up on the fifth. Uh, for the next episode where we're just going to be angsty people again, probably. <laughs> um, and yeah, then the ninth for the Dark Echoes, I got something on the 20th of October. Uh, other than that, that's I think that's really all I got going on. Because um, you can't find me anywhere. I don't really exist. So I'm going to pass it on over to Turk. Hey. Hey everyone, I am Turk or Turk Accented on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, I'm very glad to be Dr. Rudolf von Richten uh, today. Uh, if you want more uh, funny voices and questionable motives, uh, tonight we have the send off of the barge train and it's a quick bootstrap in the forever box uh, or something. Uh, then uh, it's tar Harper's Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're back. Uh, Go do something crazy. Uh, 29th, we have the kickoff of the Hubris of Man, which is our Aliens campaign, uh, Colonial Marines style, uh, led by Magnisteria. Should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, if you're familiar with the other Aliens games she's done, uh, it's going to be very much in that vein of rootin' tootin', everyone dying around you shooting. Uh, then uh, after that, on the third, I'll be in the zone with proper, which it sounds more like heady than it is, but it's going to be wild and crazy and body mutational horror. Uh, I'll be with swift and vicious. I'll be back and uh, learning to love Cole again. Uh, we will be heading into the cave of the uh, cave of the Oracle on the fifth with Oathsworn. And then uh, we'll be back here, Curse of Strahd, uh, back on the ninth. So uh, be excited. And there's a bunch of other really crazy, cool projects coming up, obviously, in October. So it'll be crazy. But I'll let Luca tell you more about all the cool stuff she's going to do. Uh, if someone has not linked the schedule already in chat, please do so, because I am going to be here for most of it over the next month. Um, tonight, I'm back here uh, for the campaign in which I do nothing but cry. Uh, uh, our final episode <laughs> where I will cry a whole lot. I get emotional even thinking about it being over, so we'll just move on. Um, after that, tomorrow I am in the first episode of Blood and Grit, which will be our Fistful of Darkness mini series. Uh, and we will be starting off with some world building uh, before bringing our characters to the show. And then. Uh, tomorrow night, we're in the Jurassic Park one shot ran by Fzul. Um, return to Isla, Isla, Nubar. Listen, at first I thought it was Islanabar <laughs> because I read it all together and that's fine. Uh, but we're going back and I'm going to get eaten by dinosaurs. It's, it'll be great. Uh, and then Monday is the begin of Star, uh, beginning of Stargate Phoenix, which I play in, ran by Last HP Hero. And then Tuesday is Harper's, but not Harper's because season two has wrapped up. So it'll just be a one shot, new characters, new faces. And uh, we're starting with the spooky vibes, even though it's not October yet. 
uh, and then Fast and Furious on the fourth, and then we we just we just keep going. I'm here all the time uh, this month, so stick around, check the schedule, uh, and watch out. Uh, and then uh, that's it. So make sure to come back tonight for Bard's Refrain uh, final episode, and we will see you all next time. Thank you for joining us today. Bye, everyone. Cook your spiders before you eat them. No.